We want to know how many butterflies there are in this country and uh, what kind they are and how they're doing. And that's very valuable information uh, which you can get by marshalling all the people who love butterflies. And so we invite people to say over the next three weeks, if you find a, a nice place, whether it's countryside or in your garden or wherever, when the sun shines, and just for 15 minutes note down what butterflies you see. And if you don't know what the butterflies are, you can get an identification chart from the, from the web, um, from Google and so on, and big butterfly count, and that will tell you. And that will provide, well, 44, 45,000 people took part last year. So we are beginning to build up a picture as to what's happening with butterflies. And what is happening is that by and large, butterfly numbers are decreasing, which is a worry but also that the number of different kinds of butterflies is changing uh, because as, as uh, the climate changes, so the butterfly population changes and we've got butterflies coming now uh, spreading farther and farther north over, over Britain, for example. The peacock was one of the loveliest of the butterflies. It, it's becoming, it is spreading north over the past uh, few years. Uh, if you just look at it, it is the most stunningly beautiful creature, you know, really. And, and kids see this immediately. And I dare say when we get older, we get sort of blasé and so, oh, okay, but not butterfly. But they're stunningly beautiful things. I remember um, not so long ago when if you had a butler bush in your garden, you could, might see 20 of them on, your, on the bush together with tortoiseshells and so on and red admirals. And they're it's a wonderful, wonderful sight.